How's it going, guys? True Paw here, coming to you with Halo Anniversary. On 343 Guilty Spark, I'm going to be showing you the Lone Marine, the Floating Assault Rifles, and the easy way to skip the first outdoor part of the map. Now, what you're going to do is load up 343 Guilty Spark on whatever settings, skulls, anything you want. It really helps with doing Legendary, because I found it cuts about 10-15 minutes off. It saves with the achievement on 343 Guilty Spark for getting in and out in 30 minutes, I think it was. It helps overall. So what happens here is when you get into the map, after the first cutscene, Master Chief is going to come in on a pelican. Now the trick is, is the second you can control Master Chief in the back of that pelican, throw a grenade. That is going to cause Master Chief to stick in the back of the pelican instead of being forcefully ejected, as shown now. Whatever you do while in the back of the pelican, do not reload. Keep your finger off of that X button. It will kick you out and you'll have to go in to the, uh, the level select and come all the way back into here and try it again. Uh, if that happens, change some skulls up and make sure you restart the map fully and not just checkpoint back onto the ground. So what happens here is you fly off and just wait till it lands. You'll get a checkpoint. After it lands, if you shoot out, like not shoot out, but if you hit the X button and you walk out the back, that'll lead you towards the lone marine. Now I find that he's easier to find in the old Halo graphics because they haven't placed a tree in front of him. Now, the reason I say it's more of an Easter egg out here is why is there a tree right in front of the bloody guy, right? Now, this has been around since the first Halo. I like how they kept all the old Easter eggs, glitches, etc. And when they make, you know, or if they make the Halo 2 remake, hopefully then they, uh, they produce something of the same quality, like the scarab gun, the soccer ball, that kind of fun stuff. Now here's the lone marine. He's just sitting out here, there's no explanation, I couldn't find any explanation online, he's just possibly a placeholder. Now on the new graphics on co-op, some people have experienced his eye floating about six inches above the socket, kinda as if he is forced to spawn up high and drops, and yeah, it's weird. Anyways. He's killable, everything. It's it's totally weird. It's been there since the first Halo. So what I'm going to do is revert to last save and head back to the, uh, the pelican here. If you go at the front of the pelican, which for some apparent reason I really couldn't do, and you watch the cliff on the left after the big first tree, you're going to find a big set of lights. Now that is your ticket. You're going to slide down that cliff wall, and enter the building. You're done the first area of the map. Pretty simple. Checkpoint. Yeah. Now if you watch here, floating assault rifles. Supposed to be marines in there defending themselves, chasing the guys out. Pretty fancy, right? Anyways, guys, it's a pretty classic trick, but I hope it helps. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, keep making videos. Let me know what you want to see. True paw over and out.